Romanian deadlifts are often referred to as RDLs or RDL deadlift. They are exactly the same exercise. This is a deadlift that's going to focus on your glutes. You're gonna start with your feet shoulder width apart, hands outside your knees. You're gonna push your hips back and allowing your knees to bend slightly so you can focus on your glutes and then standing back up. The cue I like to use with my clients is hip back, chest to floor, and then again, making sure there's that slight bend in your knee. The straighter your knee, the more hamstring you're going to feel. So if you're primarily feeling this in your hamstring, I want you to bend your knees a little bit more, focus on squeezing your glutes at the bottom. A couple things I look for with newer clients is that they are doing a hip hinge instead of a squat. A hinge is that you're pushing your hips back, your knees stay right above your ankle. Oftentimes with newer clients, they wanna push their knees forward and their hips come down like a squat. So make sure you're pushing your hips back, keep keeping your back straight and knees right above your ankles. Now let's dive a little bit deeper so you feel confident doing this in the gym. With newer clients, I do prefer that they start inside of a squat rack because all they have to do is pick up the weight, take a couple steps back, and they're in that upper position of the deadlift. Versus me on the right, I have to pick it up all the way off the ground. I have to start in a really low deadlift or a really low squat, and that can put a lot of strain on newer clients on their low back. In this video, when I'm lifting the weight off the ground, it might not look that bad, but I'm using a 45 pound plate and that's gonna elevate the bar off the ground quite a bit. However, I'm not going to give a new client that weight because that's 135 pounds. Here I wanna show you the difference between a bumper plate and a regular plate. These are both 10 pounds. The one on the left, a bumper plate, are those big rubber ones. Ideally, you're deadlifting with this if you're beginning out with deadlifts because it's going to elevate the bar off the ground but not be super heavy. Versus the one on the right, you can see how much lower the bar would be. It would be really hard to get that weight off the ground. Of course, if you're deadlifting in a squat rack, you can use either one, but if you're going off the ground, I want you to use a bumper plate if you have access to those. Last thing I wanna mention are my grips. You can see that I'm wrapping these grips around the bar. I really like these because it's going to take the focus off of your hands and allow you to focus on your glutes, your legs, your back, your core, everything that you need to focus on to not hurt yourself during a deadlift. You can find the link underneath this video in the description. So let's review the form really quick. You're gonna start with your feet shoulder width apart, hands outside your knees. You're going to push your hips back with a slight bend in your knee, squeeze your glutes at the bottom and stand back up. We want to tighten our upper body. We don't want any of our back to round. So really squeeze those shoulder blades together, push those hips back as if you're trying to touch the wall behind you. If you're feeling it too much in your hamstring, bend your knees and really focus on pushing those hips back. 